Hi friends, this is Dorit I Old Monk and today I am with the LETV's LE1S. So this is the smartphone which is going to be sale on India. This will be the first hands-on review uh, of the device and how it performs, what are the features you are getting, the hardware, the specs, each and everything. So let's get started the device. So as far as you can see, it comes with a very thin bezel. The device looks very premium look. It comes with a 5.5 inch full HD display. Other than that, it has a 2 GB of RAM. It comes with the octagon processor of Helio X10, which is MediaTek 6795T. And it comes with a 13 megapixel camera at the back with LED flash. It comes with a fingerprint sensor, has LETV branding. It comes with a whole metallic finish in the body. It is a uni body, you can't take the back panel out. In the bottom, as you can see, there are speakers for uh, speakers at the rear end. It comes with a Type C charging cable, USB Type C. As per the company, you charge it for 5 minutes, you can get the 35 minutes stock time. Other than that, it has a 5 megapixel camera in the front. In the top, you are getting a 3.5 mm jack. Here is the IR blaster to control the remote and each and everything and here is the noise cancellation mic as you can see here so these are the specs uh, and other than that it has a 3000 milliampere battery the OS is a Android Lollipop 5.1 so let's get started with the device so <coughs> I am putting unlock using the fingerprint sensor as you can see and it is unlocked right now uh, let me go through and show you the settings and about the device so as far as the storage is concerned let me go through uh, this is the storage so it comes with the 32 GB of internal storage as you can see here 32 GB of it is non expandable you can't expand the storage about the smartphone it is running on android 5.0.2 lollipop and EUI version is 5.5 .5, which is the uh, user interface version UI version and the CPU is already given which I already told you Helio X10 it is a octa core so this is what the phone name is LE1S so what other than this the device offers so uh, the device is uh, already I have using it for few days and tried each and everything you get few good features like LE cloud uh, which gives you a cloud feature to keep your storage and other things here is the control center so the control center lets you to manage the hotspot and other things which you want here with the Wi-Fi and data uh, other than that the notification management center one thing very odd the device comes with the notification pressing on here so as you can see uh, uh, in other android phones you have to drag this top to bottom here you will get the notification but other than that uh, all the toggles and everything will be fined here here are the recent apps which are used in the background here is the wi-fi and other toggles here is the shortcut for the camera calculator torch and screenshot this is for the brightness adjustment so this this is a cool feature and for that you just have to press this one and you go to the menu and do whatever if you want to take this out just push this over so this is the features what you are getting so with the 2 gb of ram as you can see i'm using a lot many things in the background the phone is not hanging which is one of the key features of the device now we go to the browser to show you the what the difference the browser comes with as you can see it has a card of Lee Mall which is the Lee TV's own other than that it has a general TOI, Amazon, uh, Facebook, Mandarin Bhaskar, YouTube, Twitter, Snapdeal which is not a great deal this Google Plus, Yahoo, ESP so uh, let's open TOI and see how the browser works so the browser works very smoothly it actually is a google browser in the back end uh, it takes uh, see there is no zooming you can't zoom the device i am trying to zoom it but you can't do that so <coughs> it takes your google account sync with that 
and opens the rest of the case so let me skip that part other than that some of the icons which of the ui are pretty little different as you can see the gmail is little bit uh, enlarged here which is looking very different for me other than that the device works perfectly good here we go to the remote control which i was talking about the ir blaster so it doesn't works only for the uh, le tv things it also works for other devices which comes with the stb ac dvd mm, here you can pair the devices with that so one more feature you are getting there is a my le tv so this feature will give you the storage and the safety management you have to log in and check your details now skipping that part also so other than that it has a no i will say there is no bloatware that will make you effect these are some of the apps which i have put to test the device so now let's go to the benchmark coming down to the antutu benchmark score as you can see the score is 52000 which is very decent with the device as an octa core processor and other than that as the ranking is concerned it is coming 30 12th as you can see 12 both devices are one s this is a chinese variant so little bit coming different but yes this is a le tv so definitely the le tv one s this model so as far as my concern the device is pretty good on the specs of hardware uh, the battery performance is also good now coming back to the storage and everything i have already told you let me show you the multi touch of the device so here it comes five multi touch and so it has only five multi touch on the screen here other than that let's go to the quadrant benchmark of the device so this was on to score the quadrant bench of the device is 26 24643 which is also a decent score so these are the benchmark of the devices now i will go to the camera and show how it works and what are the different things you are getting so as you can see right now i am in the selfie mode i will try to change it down now we are into the normal mode here are the features which you will use this is the mode to change the selfie this is for the flash here you go for the settings you get a very detailed camera description app here where you can check the delayed photo shutter sound on storage location exposure pixel size and white balance iso contrast and sharpness saturation and coming back to default so this is one thing other than that let's go to this one so this is the different kind of shades which you like it includes sepia black and white nature so few few more things in addition so i will skip that part now in this part uh, you can see that there are four modes while using the device there is slow mo to record slow mo video i have done that i will show you coming back has normal video shooting there is photo shooting and there is a panorama mode which you lets you to take the panorama shot now going back to the gallery um, i will show you the picture this is the front camera the front camera is good as you can see uh, it comes with a little bit blurry if a beautification mode which is good for the people who like beautification mode the natural is little bit gone on the image now i will show you the slow mo video what i have taken so as you can see the video recording of the device is very good this is the slow mo video i have taken and this is the video quality of the device now coming back to the rear camera let's check the rear camera for clicking the photos so i have taken the picture here was a sun which is missing and definitely in the normal mode without using any saturation focus point the manual mode i am skipping or in auto mode it is not to it doesn't impress me too much and the detailing is good but the pictures are not crisp and 
still i will perform that it is a good device for uh, considering the hardware specs now other than that uh, i will also show you the sim card slot of the device here so as you can see it comes with the micro sim and this is the nano sim card slot don't get confused this is not a hybrid sim slot you can't expand the memory so uh, there is one drawback that you can't expand the memory the fingerprint sensor is good uh, it takes uh, very less time to get um, recognize your fingerprint and uh, let's start a game here and show you how it performs so i'm now starting a game uh, it will be asphalt 8 and let's skip the ad and uh, as far as the device volume is concerned volume is pretty good and it is loud enough to listen for one person and we will wait as you can see the audio of the device audio is pretty uh, loud Yes, I do found the heating a little bit, the system is getting heated, uh, but uh, that may be due to uh, use of excess high-end graphics games, normal people uh, don't find that and the battery performance of the device is average, it comes with a 3000 mAh battery, the performance is pretty average, it is not too good that I will say, uh, but yes, the type C uh, cable comes into picture as it gets a little quick charging uh, one more thing you don't have to find in the night that which side is the up and down so definitely putting the charger it takes a little less effort so as you can see the graphics quality the display performance is rich and there is definitely no lag in the frame and it, the graphics are good here and I definitely like the sound and audio and it gets a little heated up definitely which is not a good plus point but uh, after all still uh, uh, you can compromise with the uni body because sometimes because uh, uni body are so packed there is less amount that it can get the air out so for that I will skip right now the gaming part now I will show you one more game survey surfer to show you the how the color and crisp quality are coming here so let's start the survey surfer you can see the gaming performance of the device is good enough and with the price point what it is offering still we don't know and it will be definitely a guess from my side but uh, what you expect the price uh, I expect the price around less than 15k and my exact price will be around 12999 or 11999 will be my guess for LETV 1S. So let's also check what comes inside the box. So as we go inside the box, here is uh, where the device comes. This is where uh, the user manual and the warranty card is there. So this is the sim card ejector this is the micro usb this is the type c charging cable and this is the charger so the charger is the chinese version um, definitely we will get the indian version i guess in india so don't worry for that one so these are what it comes with the device and this is all about LETV 1S. This is at the retired monk signing off for now. And keep watching our videos. Please put the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for further videos.